Hey everybody, welcome into this new tutorial. In this video, let's take a look at how we can get paid from eBay into a Payunit account. You don't have to worry about that because we're going to make a walkthrough step by step with how we can make this a little bit more faster. So first of all, what you guys need to do is to go into your eBay. Once you are in here, you are already logged in. As you can see, I'm already into my account in here. So what I want to do is to look for this option that says my eBay. And now in here, I want to focus on the selling section, which is right in here. So I'm going to click into selling. And now what I want to do, it says, welcome to your selling overview, selling to do, availability to relist. I'm going to go into OK. I got it. Now, as you can see here are my selling overviews of how much money I've gained so far, how much items has just sold and unsold. My 90 day total, as you can see, um, this is only on zero. So you don't have to worry about that. So if you already have some money here and you want to receive that into Pioneer, I want to focus on the selling section, which is right in here, as you can see. And I want to scroll down until I find the payment option. So once I clicked in here, it's going to be sending me into my wallet. As you can see, here we have some payment options. I have a PayPal account because I've already linked a PayPal account. So what I want to do is to add a payment method. Now, you might be seeing into the seller how it says you are steps away from getting back to selling. Start listing again with a few simple account updates. So we need to update our account details. Just click into update account details, which is going to be redirecting us into the setup your selling account. As you can see, it says connect a pay and account because PayPal is no longer available into eBay. So in my case, they need to verify first my phone number. We will deposit funds for your sold items to your Payoneer account. You have the option to link an existing account or create a new one. In my case, I don't have a new one. Let's try to use a new Payoneer account in order for setting our selling account. So let's get into get started. Now we must choose a phone number to get verified. So in here, I have to put my phone uh, country code and down here, my phone number. In my case, I want to choose a text me section so I can receive the code they're going to be sending me into my phone so I can verify this real quick. Once your security code is already into your phone, let's go into continue. Now it says you want to continue with an individual account. In my case, I do want to continue as an individual because I don't want to have a company or else if you want to change that to a company account, you can do that. In my case, I just won't do that. I'm going to keep this as an individual account. Let's get into continue. Now it's going to be sending me into, do you have an existing Payoneer account? If you already have one, go into sign in so you can do this a little bit more faster. So it's going to be popping up into a Payoneer account so we can create an individual and fill our information in order to continue. So let's try to do that real quick. Now it says agree to the use of the Payoneer account for your eBay selling cost. So if you want to check out the payment terms of use, you're free to go. I'm going to hit into agree after I'm done with that and the connection might be successful. So eBay can now access your Payoneer account. I'm going to hit into OK. Now, just in case you don't have a Payoneer account, it's really simple to create one. But let me tell you, in order to make transactions from eBay and Payoneer, you must uh, verify your account, your ID in order for uh, well, dealing with the bank the issues and all that. So after you go into the get started section, you're going to see that it's going to be asking you the type of business. In our case, you want to choose an individual because uh, either you don't have a business or your business is not registered. So after you click in that, you have to field all your information in English character only. Now in here, it's going to be asking us for the content details where do we live. The address details is really important, guys, that you select and putting here the unprovided address that is that appears in your ID because it's going to be asking for your ID uh, a little further. So after that, go into the next. Here's the security details where you can choose a passcode. You can re-enter a passcode. And here's the important part. The ID details, choose the issuing country of your ID. The ID tab, whether that would be a national ID, a driver's license, or a passport, then choose your ID number. And after that, once again, let's put in here the captcha. 
And lastly, here's the very interesting part. We have to fill in here our bank account for web travels that belong to us or the company. So in our case, let's choose the personal account. You have to choose all the information. You have to provide everything from your bank. Here into I agree to the terms and conditions and to the pricing and fees. If you want to check out the terms and conditions, the privacy or the pricing and fees, you can always click enter and check uh, about all the fees and all that. So after you have everything ready, you can go into the settings option, go into the verification center and see what are the requirements for you to finish your verification in order for receiving uh, withdrawal of money. Step number two is to sync our profiles. So that means that they hold our profile from Penny, so they need to update the eBay account with this same details in order to submit the request. So that's the reason why it's going to be taking a little while. So because we're submitting a request. So in here, I use my Payoneer account, my currency and my owner details. Once I check that everything is OK, I'm going to hit into continue. So it's really important, guys, that you've already see that your government ID number, your country type and all that. All your details are correctly. If don't, then do not continue. In my, in my case, I'm going to hit into continue. Step number three is to add a card for a selling cost. So they need a card on the file just in case we have an outstanding amount owed to eBay or there are some insufficient funds or something like that. This is like a collateral for eBay. So we must use a credit card. All right. So after that, here we have the full and last part. It was and it says submit a registration information. So this all the information that we just sent is will be sending the request to be verified by pioneer so ebay will contact us once we are already activated on the managed payments so by submitting our registration information we agree to the payment terms of use just hit it into submit request now just in case you see this something isn't right please double check your info on the page it's really important guys that you double check your registration information specifically speaking about the sync your profiles and just hit once again into submit request. All right, so now our registration information has been submitted. Now Payon is working on getting our pound approved. So the only thing that's gonna be happening is that Payon once get our information from eBay, are gonna be sending that information to eBay and they are gonna be making the verification process so we can start selling on eBay. Sometimes it might take from two business days up to 10 days, depending on the transaction details there are a few things that we can have now that our account has been verified and aren't our pioneer account has been already submitted but most of the time but most of the time it was just taking a few minutes to register so after all of this you're going to be receiving an email confirmation that uh they're going to be working on the on this on the request and this you can go back into the solar hub if you want but once again it's not going to take more than up to two days sometimes it says just a little bit more but you have to be just a little bit patient and remember to double check once again all your details all your data in order for the verification to make this the process well the process actually to make this a little bit more faster so once again guys hopefully this was a very useful video for you if you find this video valuable please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and if you want to see more about ebay.com and other applications you are free to enter our channel to check out some videos and playlists thank you again so much for watching this video and hopefully guys i will see you next time